In the 16th century, it was assumed you loved your monarch. I mean, you, you, it was impossible that you didn't love your monarch. That was what was required of the, of the subjects, was to have total and utter obedience and admiration for their king or queen. Whereas nowadays, I get the impression it's much more that the, the monarchy has to keep their favour. They have to keep behaving in a way that, that means they, they retain the favour of the people of the country. And so that's a huge shift, really. Um, but I think we love a celebration. We, I think you can see from the Jubilee celebrations, everybody getting out and that, that uh, regatta on the river. It was a wonderful way to celebrate something that is really, I mean, in a sense, it is outmoded. Its role is is always coming up for question but but in a sense I think the British people enjoy it they enjoy those celebrations I mean the whole world look at how the whole world was waiting for that baby I mean in a, in a sense I'm slightly disappointed it wasn't a girl because that would have been constitutionally very interesting and it would have sort of had a link back to that time where there were no boys in the succession, they had to have queens. You know, it would have been a lovely, in a sense, it would have been lovely to know that there was a girl who would have inherited over, over some male, male heirs. Um, I think there's a fascination about it. There's a fascination about it even without the power. And I can't really explain that.